Yeah, Bill Hennett with you this afternoon. Dr. Bill Hennett, physician and attorney. Nice to be with you. I was asked a question about what would be some common scenarios where a cancer misdiagnosis occurred. Um, clinically, uh, again, this could be an incorrect cell type coming from a given organ, or perhaps you have a correct cell type, but it's coming from a different location within the body. And all of this is critical because the treatment you receive, which in today's world could be surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, whatever the case may be, all of these are going to be very specific for location of the cancer as well as the cell type. Well, how could a misdiagnosis occur? Well, perhaps you could have misidentification of the tumor location on a radiograph. It may be that what you're actually diagnosing is a metastatic lesion, some cancer that is spread in the body, as opposed to a primary lesion. Now, usually this is something that clinically there might be some suspicion to a trained doctor as to whether this is likely a primary or likely a metastatic lesion. And the reason that's known is simply through the statistics and knowing how common a given tumor might be from a given location. And again, what you really want to know is where did the cancer start? What's the primary, as we call it? So it may be that a radiograph identifies a location that's not a primary but is a metastatic lesion. That then leads to a second potential point of error, which is what's biopsied. If an area is biopsied and it turns out to be a metastatic lesion as opposed to a primary, the cancer diagnosis, again, may be correct from the standpoint of the cell type, but you may miss the, the, the actual location of where the tumor started. So again, you can have a bad radiograph, you can have a bad biopsy. Thirdly would be the case of radio diagnostics. This is where a radioactive isotope is given to you and it's supposed to locate the cancer. And perhaps it does locate the cancer. Uh, maybe what happens is uh, an area lights up with the radio tracer and another area uh, that might actually have lighted up is not even being imaged on that study. Uh, again, what this could lead to is misdiagnosis of where the actual cancer primary may be. Uh, and to look at these situations, again, you have to have a knowledge of cancer in general, how it's diagnosed, how it's treated. Again, at LawMD, our professionals are trained in medicine and in law. Uh, clearly, these are difficult questions that demand experience and uh, the ability to analyze medical records and certain studies in depth. At LawMD, we believe we have that expertise and we'd be delighted to try to help you if we can be of service to you. Again, best wishes on your health care journey and hopefully none of this will ever happen to you. But if it does and you want an honest opinion from people who really care about you, call LawMD or search LawMD and we'll be happy to be in touch with you. Thanks.